Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Peepbreaker, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get a custom follow alert to pop up on your stream as I have it right here. Now, I've already made a video on a topic, but NightDev, the website that actually offers this service, have changed the way on how to get the alert to pop up uh, pretty significantly. So in today's video, I'm gonna run you through all of the steps that you need to follow to actually get there, to actually get a custom follow alert to pop up on your stream. So the first step in order to get this follow alert to show is you have to go over to your browser and you have to download and install the CLR browser plugin. Now, what this plugin basically does is it grabs a website and it displays the content of the website on your stream. Now, what you're seeing here as this alert is basically just the website being displayed, showing the last person's username that just followed your stream. Now, of course, you don't want to have a website open all the time. So this is where this plugin comes in and helps you. Now, this is kind of tricky to install this. So I'm going to run you through all of the steps that you need to do. Now, once you're on this page, which I will be linking in the description below, go over to the 64-bit version. I would have very much recommend you to run the 64-bit version of OBS and of all your plugins, because of course you can allocate more memory with 64-bit than with 32-bit. So go to the 64-bit version, download this. Now, whilst this is downloading, you can do this. You need to update your MC Visual C++ runtimes to 2013. So click on this link, click on download. Now you have the option again to choose the 64-bit version. Click on next and you should be good to go. Now, once this has downloaded here, you're going to want to open it. You want to click on execute and agree, install, etc. etc. Just update this and install this uh, Microsoft Visual C redistributable. Now, uh, next up, you want to head over here back again to the uh, CLR browser plugin website. And you also want to update your net installation. So I would go with the web installation, click on download once again. And uh, once this is downloaded again, execute. And of course, since I've already installed this one, I can only repair or uh, remove. Uh, but you want to install the uh, net framework 4.5.2, whatever, and just go with next. And it's pretty self-explanatory, I guess. All right. So once you've done that, you want to go over to the folder where you have downloaded your CLR browser plugin. You want to click on unpack. Oh, and by the way, you're going to have to have a 7-zip to unpack this. So there will be a link to 7-zip um, in the description below as well. This is basically like WinRAR. It's, it's just a program to unpack or to pack um, files just to kind of make, it, make them smaller, just compress them, right? So here you want to, again, like execute the 64-bit version or whatever you have. Just install 7-zip and you will get this, uh, this, this pop-down menu here where you can unpack. Right, so once you've unpacked um, the CLR browser plugin, you want to get it. I have it right here. And you want to copy the folders that you've just unpacked. And you want to paste them in the right directory. So you're going to go to C, Program. It's actually Program Files in English. And you want to look for OBS, uh, Plugins, and Paste. Uh, I've already pasted them, but we'll just do it again. Okay, um, there's some error, I guess, because I'm running OBS at the moment. This isn't probably the best idea. Let's try this again. There we go. So we just pasted this. We installed uh, or we updated our net framework. We updated our C++ redistributable. And that's pretty much all you have to do in order to get the CLR browser plugin to work. Now, uh, once you've done that, you have to restart OBS, of course. Oh, and by the way, um, once you're starting OBS, you want to have to be sure that you run the 64-bit version of OBS. So um, to be sure that you actually have the 64-bit version, again, you can see it here. Um, but then again, you can go to C, uh, Program Files, OBS, and then run the program from here. Just make sure that you run the 64-bit version since you just installed the 64-bit version of the CLR browser plugin. Right. So once you're in here, you can uh, preview the stream. And uh, if you can click on add CLR browser, like la la, 
and uh, something pop up, pops up, you've installed the CLR browser plugin successfully. If this doesn't work, you've done something wrong. You have to redo all the steps, you have to update all the stuff that I've shown just before, and you have to be sure that you're running 64-bit version, you've installed the 64-bit version in the right directory. This is very important because I think this is the hardest step in the entire process, I guess. Right, so the next step is actually one that is optional. So if you wanna have a custom alert, you want to have a graphics. So as you can see right here, I have this orange graphic with the text is now following, and I've created this myself. So the way to do this is you have to have some sort of image um, editing software. I use Photoshop, uh, there we go. And uh, in Photoshop, or you can do it in PowerPoint actually, if you have uh, no other image processing software, you can use GIMP, you can use whatever, just, just use something that you can create images with. Um, in Photoshop, you can click on new, I have here the dimensions of your follow alert. You can pretty much put in anything uh, and have some sort of color here. We're gonna use something nice like uh, like this blue. All right, wanna make it real cool. Oh, no, that was stupid. I have something blue here. And you want to write, for example, thanks for fo following. Um, we should probably use white as text, otherwise we can't really read it. And this is a little bit too big, so we go with like 100 or maybe even less, 50. There we go. So we have thanks for following, all right? It's probably still a little bit too big. Let's go with like 30. There you go. Doesn't really matter, just create an image like this. Um, save it somewhere where you'll find it again. For example, your YouTube assets. Let's call it something. And you're pretty much done with the image. Now, the next step is optional once again. Uh, you can have a sound, a custom sound to play back whenever someone is following you. So uh, whenever someone follows you, you have like, whoop, whoop, but it's under the police or whatever playing. All right, so. How to do that? Basically, you have to have some sort of sound file uh, to begin with, and you have to convert it to the OGD file format. This is really important. If you don't do that, you're it's not gonna work, basically. So, how do I do that? Basically, you're gonna have to have Audacity. It's a free uh, program to, like, uh, MP3 cutting tool. And you have to have some sort of file. So, let's look for a file. Then you wanna cut this file to uh, some really short part because you don't want to play the entire the entire song, right? So we only have a very short snippet of sound playing like this. And once you've got that, you can click on export. Export as OGG, OGG Vorbis or whatever like that. Uh, export it again to a place where you'll find it again. Let's say follower alert. Click on OK, and it will create an OGD file. Now, once you've done that, you've done all of preparation. You have the CLR browser plugin installed. You have an image that you're going to be using on your alert, and you've got some sound playing whenever someone's following your stream. All right, so now that you've prepared everything, you need to set up NightDev. In order to do so, go to nightdev.com slash follow alert. Click on Install. Next. Now you need to log into your Dropbox account. You really need to do this if you wanna have a custom follow alert graphics. And if you wanna have a custom follow alert sound to play whenever someone's following your channel, you really need to drop uh, to log into your Dropbox. So log in, put in your Twitch username, use alert style, use my own, text centered. Um, as the alert transition, you can use Fade. I think that's the best to use. Now here you can upload your alert picture that you've just created. Now, as you can see up here, you can see our text, thanks for following, and uh, the person that just followed our channel. So night def. Now here we can choose our sound, which is the follow alert. Click on next. Now night def is going to generate you a hosted URL. Now this link you're gonna have to click on, press control copy, go over to OBS, Click on Add, so right-click, Add, CLR Browser. Let's call this Follower Alert and paste the URL that you just copied in here. 
Now, once you've done that, add this line to the URL plus preview equals true. Now, what this uh, command basically does is it allows you to preview your follow alert. So if you don't add this to the URL, you're not going to see anything because since nobody just followed your stream, you're not going to see a follow alert, of course. Um, but if you add this, you're going to have constantly a, a fake follower uh, to appear. Uh, you'll see it in a second. Now, once you've added this line to the URL, go back to nightf and uh, copy these dimensions. You need the width 580, the height 110, this is just the height and width of your uh, follow alert and uh, change your in-game or your, or rather your, your CLR browser FPS to match your streaming FPS. So I stream at 60 FPS, I put in 60, press on OK. And there you go. As you can see, we have the follow alert to pop up here. You hear the sound playing in the background and it's all nice and dandy. Well, it's not really nice and dandy because it still looks pretty ugly. Now, in order to change these things, first thing we're going to have to do is click on Edit Scene. Now you can move around your scenes, right? So we want to put it somewhere about here. We want to put it in the middle, not just over there. And now what you need to do is you need to style your follow alert because as of right now, it looks pretty, let me just mute this. It looks pretty stupid with the test user down there and it's like in the other text and you don't really want to have it like this. So you really want to you change your style sheets of this website. Now you can do this with CSS, which is called Cascading Style Sheets, uh, but I'm probably not gonna be able to explain you all of the commands, but the most important ones are really simple and should be uh, straightforward to understand. So click on your follow alert with the right mouse button, click on properties, go over to CSS, and uh, here you can basically change the property of your uh, website that's being displayed. Now I already have a template for my follow alert. So I will post uh, this code right here in the description below and you can basically just copy paste the code and put in your CSS tab here and it will basically look just like uh, on my screen here. And uh, now what's important here is basically what this stands for. Now there's a lot of definitions here that you really don't need to understand. Uh, however, there are a few that are quite important to really understand. So here, for example, we have font family and Norwester um, exclamation mark important. Now this basically tells the website uh, to run in the font family Norwester. Now you probably don't have this. So we'll put in something that you probably have. And if you click OK, you can see the test user appear. And there we go. You see the font has changed and it's more uh, on top of the follow alert and the ugly shadow has disappeared. So this is already pretty nice. Uh, you can change pretty much all of these values here. You can, you can do crazy sorts of stuff. You can make fade in, fade out. You can really do a lot of things with CSS, but I think the most important things are font family. You can change whatever font you want. This here is just to tell it that it's really important and you should really change it. Um, here you can just change to whatever font you've got installed on your system. Um, the padding top uh, says how how much padding there is from the top of your follow alert. So how much like margin we have, we've put in like something like 30. Uh, you can see it's going to be pushed down a lot. There you go. You see the test user now almost inside of the thanks for following, which is not what we wanted. So we can just change it back. And uh, that's pretty much all the commands you really need. I have uh, put text shadow zero zero pixels uh, because I don't really want the texture. I think text shadow looks disgusting, um, but that's really all you need to know on how to get a follow alert to look just like this. And by the way, the first time it shows this is just a bug. So this is actually how it will look if someone's really following your stream. Okay, so the last thing you need to do before you're done with your follow alert is you have to right click on follow alert once again, go to properties, go to URL and delete the plus preview equals true. Since you've now finished uh, customizing your follow alert, you don't need the preview anymore and the follow alert actually only works when you disable this plus preview equals true. Okay, so I think that's pretty much all you need to know on how to get a custom follow alert to pop up when you're streaming with OBS and Twitch. And if you still have any questions, then feel free to post them in the comment section below and I will try and make my best and answer all of your questions. But if this video helped you guys out or if you learned something, then please leave me a thumbs up and or a subscribe. That would be awesome. Thanks for watching, have a wonderful day and until the next one. Cheers.